big fat bomb. Mm, good. Behold the Twinkie. To some, an ingenious creation of cake and cream with just enough preservatives to outlive the human race. To others, a tiny little hand grenade of fat and calories in the war to stay slim. Hello, I'm Sarah Kozer, and welcome to Fat Farm, where we're going to take 10 of America's fittest people, put them on an island, and feed them a lot of, well, stuff like this. Mm. Mm. Follow me around Venice Beach, the mecca of beautiful bodies, while we try and get some of these workout mavens to go off their diet just once. Let's see how we do. Okay, Zach, so we noticed you because you obviously are in good shape and you obviously take your body kind of serious. Can you give us a little pose for the camera? Show us your muscles? Really pose you got. Ah, that's good. That's not I'm bad. Flex for us a little bit? Sure. There you go. That's great. That's definitely uh, some years of hard work. I'm wondering how much time and effort you put into getting your body to look like this, because it looks great. Well, I've been uh, lifting weights for a little over 20 years. 20 years? How much of working out is, is it a part of your life? Well, I guess it's a big part of my life. It's because it just shapes your body and your mind and your soul. It's like more of like an inner thing for me. It's mainly for my mental health, really, just because weightlifting, it just like blows everything out. It's like a meditative type spiritual thing. So The good things about these weights is, is they're not they're not prejudiced. They don't care if you're white, black. Even though the initial motivation was for physical development, that's just icing on the cake now, you know? I won't say it infatuates your life, but when I wake up, that's the first thing I think of. What am I gonna work out? Now, how about your diet? I make sure I get, you know, ample protein and good stuff. The way you look is about 75% nutrition. That's why I actually, I actually write diet. Wow. So let's say that we put you on an island and told you that you couldn't work out for a month and you had to eat like McDonald's and Twinkies. How would you feel? Oh gosh, took these weights away, I could do push-ups, or I could run, or... I yeah, but but what if you couldn't? What if we told you you weren't allowed? If it was a game? That, that'd, be, that'd be something I'd have to deal with. We're talking like, junk food and more junk food, and no weight room. I couldn't try run? So how would you feel though if uh, we told you you couldn't work out for a month? I might be homicidal. After all of that eloquent, you know, introspection on the... Bodybuilders aren't just raw brawn, you know, looking in the mirror, they're real... All right, let's let's see if we can make them eat those words literally. <laughs> <laughs>